Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here with a brand new Firewall Zero Hour news video. Today's video is all about the newly released update 1.13 that has brought with it some fairly huge changes that will change the way Firewall is played. So it's very exciting stuff. But before I get into the patch notes, let me just remind all of you who may not already own Firewall Zero Hour that this weekend from the 18th to the 20th, there is a free trial. As long as you're a member of PS Plus, you'll be able to download this and take part in the weekend for free. So if you've been thinking about trying Firewall out, then now is your chance. And remember, you don't need a name controller and the game doesn't even support the move controllers. So you can just use your DualShock 4. Now it might not be as good as using the aim controller, but it's still very viable. So definitely check it out lads and ladies for reals. Anyway, let's jump into the patch notes for update 1.13. Okay, so starting with the first point here, players will now earn more XP for knockdowns, assists, and completing public contracts matches. Okay, so I tested this new patch out last night for a little while, a little bit over an hour, and I can tell you that you will now get 50 XP for a knockdown, which is actually the same as an elimination now. So before, knockdowns were only worth 5 XP, I think. So this is like a 10 time increase, and it's very welcome in my opinion. It'll help make the grind a little bit easier. Plus, it might get people complaining less about kill stealing or whatever. Just keep in mind that knockdowns don't count as kills, only eliminations do. So if you're someone who cares about your kill death ratio, then there's no change to that. As for the assists, that has changed from 15 XP to 25 XP. And I'm fairly happy with that. Again, it'll help the grind slightly. Finally, the last one there is for completing public contracts matches. But I think the wording is a little bit unclear for that one. Because what it actually is, is if you win a match, you still get 600 XP. There's no change there. The difference is when you lose a match. So it used to be you'd get 100 XP if you lost. Now you get 200 XP. So that's a nice increase and a little bit more incentive not to rage quit, maybe. So just with that first part of the patch notes there, I think that's very welcome. I particularly love the new knockdown XP gain. So good job, First Contact Entertainment. Next up, we have a couple of changes made to two of the skills. So the first one is the Investor skill. This skill allows you to earn extra crypto while playing the game. And I always found it to not really be worth equipping. But now the skill unlocks at level 10. It used to be a much higher level, but I can't remember right now what level that was. But if I was ever going to use the investor skill, it would have been at the lower levels, back when you want to grind for a particular weapon or a piece of gear. So that's a smart change. Also, the price of the skill itself has been reduced to make it even more enticing. I still won't use it, but for the lower level players, I think it's a very decent option now. So the second skill that has been adjusted then is the Heavy Juicy skill. So this skill allows you to take extra damage from explosives, and it was quite a popular skill even before this patch. But now, not only does it unlock at an earlier level, level 20 now, and costs less than it used to, it has been buffed to have extra resistance towards the dreaded grenade launcher. So wow. That's pretty big, but speaking of the grenade launcher, that too has been altered, so let's take a look. So players are now knocked down after being hit by the grenade launcher, and additional tuning changes have been made. So what that means is, you will no longer be instantly eliminated by the grenade launcher, instead you will be downed and you can be revived by your teammates. And on top of that, our old pal Germ Warfare has been doing some testing, and he has discovered the additional tuning made to the grenade launcher. So you can no longer shoot your rifle and the grenade launcher at the same time. There is a slight delay now, I think he said it's around a second or so. So when you add these changes together with the heavy juicy skill buff, the grenade launcher has been severely nerfed. to the point where I'm not sure anyone will even pick it anymore. This is the biggest change to the game. The grenade launcher was the meta there for the last month or two, and now there's this vacuum now. So who knows what the new mess is gonna be. That's what makes it exciting. Maybe impact grenades, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, moving on to the last patch notes. Abandoning a public match before the game ends will now incur a crypto penalty. And from what I've read over on or slash firewall zero hour, the official firewall subreddit by the way, so go check that out. The penalty is 1000 crypto, which is fairly steep for like a low level player. And on this reddit post down in the comments, 
First Contact Entertainment CEO Hess Barber himself has stated that this was just the first step and more will be coming. So it sounds like more penalties may be introduced down the line. Who knows what they could be? Maybe some XP penalties. That would be interesting. Anyway, this is definitely a great first step and should hopefully cut down on host dropouts a little bit at least. Finally, there are some bug fixes at the end, but those aren't detailed, so I don't know what they are. Now, there is one other thing I noticed while playing the game since 1.13 released that wasn't mentioned in the patch notes, and that is when you enter the lobby, there is now a 10 second countdown that appears before you're able to exit. So I'm not sure what the reason behind that is, but it is an interesting change. Let me know down below if you know what that is. And with that, lads and ladies, I will end this video for those of you who wanted the grenade launcher nerfed congratulations i hope this will make you very happy it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks now to see how this update evolves the game so now is definitely a good time to jump in before i go let me just give a quick thank you to my patreon supporters on the screen right now thank you very much lads appreciate this and if you like this video then please consider doing all that usual shite to help me out i'd appreciate that very much until next time stay moist